Well, greetings again. Good to get together and to spend time in another Devo today. Today, we're going to be starting uh, Second Chronicles. We've got about 10 uh, Devos in that that we'll go through. Not all today. We'll do those over the next 10 days. But um, during the next couple of weeks, we're kind of going to be re kind of take some of its familiar ground because you've got First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, you've got First Samuel, Second Samuel, you have First Kings, Second Kings, all of which cover similar ground. Uh, and but we've grabbed little nuggets that are different. And so let's begin today in Second Chronicles chap, uh, chapter two, verses five, six, and seven today. And the temple which I build will be great. This is Solomon speaking. He's writing a letter to Hiram, king of Tyre, and he's, he's asking for some building supplies and some things uh, from Hiram and some skillful uh, laborers. And so he says, the temple which I build will be great, for our God is greater than all gods. I, I love uh, Solomon's heart with that and how he starts it all out. But he says, but who is able to build a temple since heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I then that I should build him a temple except to burn sacrifice before him? Therefore, send me at once a man skillful to work in gold and silver, in bronze and iron, in purple and in crimson and blue, who has skill uh, to engrave with the, the skillful uh, men who are uh, with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom David my father provided. So Solomon, he's preparing and again, still finishing up this, his preparation to start construction on the temple. And he's gonna go through this and in just a minute we'll talk, not, not just a minute, but in the next time we get together, uh, we'll spend a few minutes talking about this idea of uh, just before he dedicated, what were his thoughts. But, but in this, he's asking for some help from another uh, country. He's saying, hey, I need some help with this and this and this and some lumber and some different things. And, but what I like about it is he's asking for skillful people to come alongside and do things. Look, every one of us have been entrusted with both spiritual gifts and natural gifts. So because God knew how he was, he knows us from the foundation of the earth, before we were formed in our mother's wombs, the Bible says that God knows us. God's got a purpose and a plan, and I don't say that lightly. I really believe that, that God's got a purpose and a plan for every person. And all we need to do is yield ourselves to that. And what Solomon is asking for is, hey, would you release some guys that, and gals that are have these, this skill set, these natural talents that he knows God has given them? Solomon knows God's the one that's given them to him. And so he's asking for these skillful people to come alongside uh, to do these specific tasks. And I think when he says skillful and then he kind of pens it out, like what he's asking for, it is specific. You are designed uniquely and specifically for his, God's purpose. So never underestimate, well, I'm just good with doing this or I'm just good with doing that. That's awesome. God's got his purpose and his place for all of us. And I believe most of us have multiple abilities, you know, um, that God's given us. Again, there's the spiritual dynamic of, of spiritual gifting and things that he's called us to and he equips us for. And there's also in the natural realm, spiritual tasking that he has specifically created us to function in and to do. And so I like that. And I like that it says... Uh, that uh, who is able to build uh, such a place, you know? The heavens of the heavens and the heavens can't contain, you know? And, and, and God, we remember talking about this before that, you know, the earth is his footstool, you know? What structure could we build that could house God? And so he's just saying, hey, send some guys. I want to get this stuff done. And so don't underestimate, don't diminish your natural gifting and talent surrender it to God and let God breathe fresh life by his spirit into it. God bless you. Have a great day today.